Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. I'm down here at the Aintree store. I've got my Trackman set up. I've got my grid set up, which I always have. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to draw the golf ball. So I'm just going to hit my normal shot here. I've set up, uh, I've got two pictures on the screen here, and I will be putting these pictures uh, into the video so you can see them a bit clearer. I know you can't quite see the screen too clearly on the camera. So we've got, on the left hand side there we've got the range, and on the right hand side we've got the blood data. So each time I hit a shot, it's going to sort of give me a little bit of data there. So on that particular shot, that was a slight push. So the total shot I tend to hit is a bit of a push drop, and that's what I'm trying to aim for. So my club path was pretty good there. That was a four degree to the right club path, and if you know, if you've seen me video on the grid, you know that placing the ball just back from the left shoulder, which I've got it there, it should deliver a path sort of between four or five degrees from into out, or four or five degrees to the right. Now, that shot may have looked like a bit of a push. Some people might call that slice. It was actually a bit of a push, and it actually did draw slightly. And that's because the club face angle was slightly closed to the path it was swinging on. It was open to the target line, the club face, but it was actually close to the path. So you can see here on the stats here, so it was 0.6 to the left spin axis. Didn't quite get back to the target line. In an ideal world, if my club face was a couple of degrees close to the path, it probably would have drawn back to that target line. Let's go one more, see if I can get a better club face on this next particular shot. So path was pretty good there. Okay, slightly better club face, maybe degree close. Okay, path went a little bit more out to the right there. So you can see on the screen here, 5.5 to the right. Club face was minus 1.7. But this is a really key one, the face angle. Face angle was 3.9 to the right. So as I hit that golf ball, my club face was roughly four degrees to the right. And now one of the most frustrating things I get is golfers that they come here for fittings or they come here for a lesson, they have this misconception that the reason they slice the golf ball is because of the club face. And you, you see this a lot where uh, you speak to golfers and they're like, okay, what are you working on? And they're, they're sort of trying to sort of roll the hands. And you get that quite a lot. And I, and I think, number one, it's really hard to control the face. If you're, if you're swinging through and you're trying to roll the hands, how hard is that to control that club face if you're swinging at 80, 90 miles an hour? It's really hard to do, so that's number one. Number two, um, the ball is on the face for such a short period of time, it's like a two thousandth of a second or something ridiculous like that. It's on, it's on the face for such a small period of time that there's no way you can actually manipulate the face or sort of close it as you're hitting the ball to draw the ball. I think that's a, that's a little bit of a myth. And I've got the trap man here today because I think that's sort of changed a lot of myths in golf. Trackman's been around for almost 15 years, I think 13, 14 years, something like that. Um, Trackman's been able to measure club data now for about 10 years as well. And with that information, I think golfers should have a better knowledge and understanding of, of the ball flight laws. And when I started to play golf, I was sort of led to believe that um, the path sort of started uh, the ball direction and the face sort of curved it, uh, when actually it's, it's the opposite. The face would give it the starting direction. So on that particular shot there, uh, the face angle is four degrees to the right impact. Uh, the reason that ball drew was because it was closed to the path I was swinging on. Now, I play a lot of golf with different people. Um, I hit shots in here and people watch my videos and they think that I've got a natural draw. Um, my swing now has become more natural. Um, but when I played, say, 10 years ago, uh, when I was having lessons, when I was sort of growing up as a kid, the way I was taught to draw the golf ball was kind of like the old school myths where you had to release the hands, um, not so much um, details given on sort of the path of the swing or the correct position that you should be swinging or the correct angle you should be swinging on. Like you can see we've got the grid set up here. I set this up every day. Uh, so you know that the, you've got your club path and you've got your hand path. So they're, they're moving, they should be moving inwards around the body. And the, the way sort of I was taught golf was to swing a little bit more upright 
and then to release the hands. And I, I struggled to, I, could, I couldn't draw the ball. I couldn't draw the ball. If, it, if I curved it left, it was going left. It was starting left and it was going left. And that's because, mainly because of the path I was swinging, I wasn't quite getting uh, the right path. So when you're trying to correct your swing, just changing the club face and trying to turn the hands over is not always um, the best sort of way to do it. You might have to look at your technique or your swing path. You do get a, some golfers that try and draw it and they'll, they'll sort of aim out to the right like this. You notice when I draw the ball aim pretty square, it's just moving the ball back behind the left shoulder that enables me to get that path moving out to the right. So you get a lot of golfers that sort of aiming out to the right and then they're trying to try to do this with their hands and okay you can shake the ball like that but and I've got the draw there but my it's out of control my path there is moving way out to the right 18 degrees uh, the club face is really hard to control I, I hit that quite softly uh, to try and get some degree of control but you can see that ball was out of control it's, it's curved past that target line it's moving way to the left it's moving away from the hole now the, the sort of ball flight I'll coach is more of a push with a draw so you can see I've got this sort of cone set up here that kind of mirrors this angle here with the ball position so the size of that is the same size as that so you've got a yellow line here that sort of kind of represents the projected path and you've got sort of the, the target line which is the green one now if the path's moving along that yellow one you need your face to be in between there and I'll try and coach golfers to finish all their shots inside the cone because if you can have one miss where you're either going to go draw it back to the target line or you're going to finish just to the right it's much easier to manage that on the golf course it's no good starting the ball in the cone and curving it to the right or in that case there overdrawing it and if you're trying to close the face that's really going to be difficult to control so I'll hit shots where um, I'll hit through and keep the face kind of open if you like I'll, I'll stop there and I'll say to the uh, golfer, what shot am I hitting here? And most of them will say, you're trying to hold it off or you're trying to fade it, so let's do one. So I'm just gonna stop there and try and keep that face. It's gonna appear quite open, but to me that's pretty square. Okay, so you can see the draw on the ball there. Just starting a bit straight. But, so looking at some stats there, uh, the club path was seven degrees to the right. The um, face was 6.3 degrees close to the path and that's why it drew like that but you can see there's no turning over of the face that it was more to do the path I was swinging on and then controlling uh, the club face so I think there's a lot of myths in golf and hopefully with Trapman uh, with a lot of better coaches understanding Trapman understanding video I think you can start to understand a little bit more about the ball flight laws and hopefully some of these myths will no longer be around. So I'm just going to finish up, just hit one more shot here. So I've got ball in the right position. So hopefully swing pass slightly to the right, four or five degrees. Try and finish this one in the cone if I can. Not bad, it's just drawn over that target line. But path was five degrees. Club face was 1.2 open. So like I say, to the target, but four degrees close to the path, and that's what's giving it that draw. It's finished pretty close, that target line. Not quite in the cone, but pretty close. So hopefully that's sort of covered some myths there. Um, obviously quite a technical lesson today with some data, but I think this is really important stuff for you golfers to understand out there. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe to the channel. Absolutely free to do so. And if you don't already, follow me on my other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.